today I thought I would let you get ready with me uh, in a slightly different way than usual. I'm just sitting on a bed here and I'm just gonna kind of chat through what's inside my makeup bag and how I kind of get ready really quickly when I need to be out the door. When I pack for a weekend away, I tend to kind of just chuck as many options as possible, but I've been a bit more streamlined this time. I haven't got too much. But as I'm gonna be outside quite a lot today, I've obviously put SPF on. SPF is so important. For this, I've used the new Origins Dr. Weil Mega Defense SPF. This is an SPF 45, so really, really good at keeping your skin protected. And it's also really nice and moisturizing, so I've got some of that on. And I've also used my Glossier Balm.com just to keep my lips moisturized. And I put those two on about 10 minutes ago just to let them sink in. So for my base, I'm gonna use the Luminizing Moisture Tint from Jouer Cosmetics. It's very kind of skincare based, so I feel like it's got a lot of benefits and it's very moisturizing, hydrating, which I love. I haven't got the best setup for mirror wires today, um, so I'm just gonna have to use this little palette, but I've got a damp beauty blender. The damper, the better. I feel like your makeup just goes on so much better when it is really damp. And I'm just putting a little bit of the product straight onto the sponge, and then I'm just gonna literally tap it wherever I need it. And this one has a nice coverage. It's not a super full coverage because it is just a tinting moisturizer, but it kind of covers where I need it to. It gets rid of any redness and kind of evens out my skin tone. And then any areas that I need just a little bit more covering, I'll just take the product and put it straight kind of on there. So usually my forehead and my cheeks get the reddest and a little bit on my chin as well. For concealer, I've been really back into the Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS. This has some serious coverage to it, so this kind of just gets rid of any blemishes I have, covers up dark circles, just gets rid of all the things that I don't really want on my face. I like to take this one when I'm traveling as well because it has such a good coverage that you can kind of get away with wearing it just on its own. So if you're doing a no makeup day and you just want to kind of cover a little bit, but you don't want to go kind of full out with all foundation and just everything that is involved with makeup, I just pretty much put this on, maybe a bit of mascara and it does the job. And again, I will just blend that in with my beauty blender. I've become so reliant on beauty blenders recently, it's all I kind of use for my base makeup. So I didn't bring any powder with me just to kind of save on space. I'm not a massive powder lover so I don't really miss it if I don't have it. But I have this eyeshadow palette here which is from Stila. This is the In The Light palette and it really handily has a kind of matte powder shade in it. This one's called Bear which is very appropriate. So I just kind of use this to sort of set underneath my eyes. Um, I do kind of like to set my concealer usually underneath there just to stop any mascara running down and things like that. So this is a great little tip if you don't have a powder with you but you have a powder colored eyeshadow because I mean, they're basically all the same thing. And I'm also gonna really cheekily take that just down my nose a little bit and sort of on my oily patches which is mainly just here on my cheeks as well. So rather than bronzer, I've been more sort of into contouring recently and just very subtly contouring my cheeks and my face. And I guess that's ever since I found this product here, which is from Kevin Aquan. It's the sculpting powder, which we all know and love, but it's in the shade light. So so much better for fair skins like my own. And I just kind of take this into the hollow of my cheek where my ear kind of is, but I don't really go past the side of my eye. So it's just a very short and subtle contour. I think contouring really gives you a very polished look and if you do it like this, really without much effort at all. So I've got my favourite blush with me, I have to take this wherever I go now, it's the Pericone MD No Blush Blush and this is just such a beautiful colour, I think it's the colour that makes me want to wear it every single day. So I just take it on that kind of little spoolie it comes with and put a few dots onto my cheeks and then just tap it in with my fingers. I think this is so pretty and really effortless and it just looks like your natural kind of flush cheek colour and very summery as well. So this is just one of my favourite products and you also save on packing an extra brush with this one too which is always a plus. I've also got a cream product for highlighter as well. This is quite a cute little mini. It's from Becca and it's the Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. This is, again, another product with a spoolie on, which I think is really, really handy. So I just draw a few little dots on the bridge of my nose and then on the tops of my cheekbones as well and then tap it in with my fingers because fingers are the best tools. And any excess that I have just left on my finger, I'll just put a little bit on. I keep it space, so it's just highlighted a tiny, tiny little bit. Okay, gotta do brows. My brows never change, no matter where I am, what I'm doing. I always use these two products now. They're both from Anastasia, Beverly Hills, and they're the Brow Wiz. I have the shades Medium Brown and Taupe here, and I kind of use them together. I use the shade Medium Brown mainly on the outer half, so basically where my arch is, I kind of extend that a little bit and then bring the tail out so it's slightly longer and just really sort of clean up the shape because 
I find the outer portion of my brow is the one that needs the most attention, especially when it comes to matching them up because they do not look the same. <laughs> and then the lighter shade taupe are just feather into the front portion just to kind of create those little hairs. I don't usually have much patience for eyeshadow, I don't really want to sit there for 10 minutes blending in all sorts of colours, so I tend to look for shades that can be one wash wonders. Most of the shades in this palette are really great for that, especially the dark brown ones and the bronzy ones. Today I'm going to use the shade Sunset, which is a very pretty sort of rose gold, coppery, very bronze shade. Sweep that all over my lid, the bigger the brush the better because it does all the work for you. And this works in the crease as well, I use it for a bit of depth and dimension in there. And then I'll just pack a little bit back on to the lid just to build up that shimmer and the colour. So simple, couldn't be easier. And if you're like me and you usually like to wear your eyeshadow underneath your eyes as well, I just take a little bit on my pinky finger and literally just use this as a brush and blend it in under there, so easy. I'm back to using my Benefit Roller Lash. I love this mascara so much. I forgot how good it actually is. It's kind of one of those all-in-one mascaras, so you get length and volume and a lot of definition and separation with this too. And then last, my favorite part, which is lipstick. I have this new product here, which is from Giorgio Armani Beauty. This is the Lip Maestro. I got this in the shade 500, which is a really pretty everyday pink. It's kind of been my go-to lipstick most of the time. I've just been keeping this in my handbag and putting it on on the go and it's a bit of a funny one. It's somewhere in between a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss. It's a very unique kind of product. I really love the shade so much. It's definitely the Your Lips for Better colour and it kind of sets down and it really stays put for a while but it feels very creamy and very comfortable at the same time so I've been loving this for my kind of everyday lip. And that is it. Those are all the products that I use to get ready on the go. Really love a few of those, especially this lipstick. I'm mad for this. Um, so I hope you enjoy kind of sitting down with me and getting ready with me for an actual day, not where I'm just sitting in my office filming. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go out on about now with my cameraman who is currently perching himself on an ironing board. It's a whole makeshift situation, but thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new and I will see you all soon. Bye!